What's up guys, Tonton here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna review the Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class tracks. So to begin with tracks and, and his robot mode. And so for this video, I'm gonna do the normal way of comparing this kind of G1 characters alongside with the Masterpiece counterparts. So you get to see the difference between the two versions. I think that would be a better way to do this kind of reviews. So let's begin. So here we have the Masterpiece versions of Trax and the Kingdom versions. And the first thing I want to say is that the Masterpiece, of course, since he's a Masterpiece, he got some more painted here and there, especially on the wing section and the upper section of the backpack, the feet and the knee. And that would be it. But on to the general point of the parts that they all got painted is that the Autobot logos on the chest and the arms detail. I must say that I would prefer the Kingdom version. I think those details got painted better on the Kingdom version. And one more thing is that the Masterpiece does not have as many details as the Kingdom versions. Uh, let's just look at the wings over here. I mean like the wings of the Kingdom got plenty of panel line opportunities and plenty of details. And also on the chest and on the arms and on the leg. I mean like generally the Kingdom got a lot more better details. The only thing that I would prefer from the Masterpiece than, than the Kingdom is that the masterpiece got painted most of the area. You got a really nice metallic blue rather than the kingdom. It's just like blue plastic. But one extra point for the unpainted plastic is that you don't get the fear of paint tripping as much as you got with the masterpiece versions. And turning the figures around, as you can see, they both have backpacks. And I mean, this is like a design trait or something. So, yeah. I mean like for its size, I think the Kingdom version did a really good job on handling the backpack. To me, that does not look really bad at all. I enjoyed it. And I must say that upon that, they are like nearly the same figures. Except that, that the Masterpiece version is taller. And also, his arms are longer for some reason. I could prefer the arms or the scale of the Kingdom versions than the Masterpiece. And enough of the Masterpiece, now let's get into some details of this guy right here. So first up, you got the face, and I must say that I have not always been a fan of this color of choice. You know, you know, like the white helmet and the red face inside looks kind of too contrast to me. But guess that is what highlight this is figure, what make this character unique. That is the face. And the face copy here is really nice, it's full of G1 characteristic, and I cannot be happier about that. You still got the wheels on the, the, to the front section of the, of the arms, and they spin really well, they got painted, silver. And that is really nice over here. The Autobot logos and the chest section got a lot of mechanical details, which I absolutely enjoy. Moving on to the torso, the front skirt got painted. Got some white paint on it, highlighting this is the front skirt, and it can move up for some additional range of articulation. And of course, you got the arms, they're really nice. You got that really nice painted piece. They've got that yellow and red, which is really nice to me. And down to the leg, this is the same old tracks design for the leg. So this is mostly grey in front and if you turn them around. I'm happy that they did things this way so it doesn't look hollow. So for that I will explain in the transformation section. So one thing that I have to complain about this guys will be the leg section. Because of the way he is transformed so as you can see this area here doesn't really tap in really secure. So it's just always going to be like a little bit floppy like this. But I can live with that. Okay, for the accessories, first we got this twin blaster. So it's a really nice white piece of plastic, mimicking an engine or some gun for the alternate mode. But on this mode, it can plug it onto his. You can plug it onto his upper section like this, or you can plug it onto the si uh, side of his arms, or you can have him holding it. It's on the same. It is the same joint, same port. And also you got another one, one more is his blaster over here that is a piece of black plastic. So you can do th the same thing with the gun. So you can plug it everywhere you want. Or you can combine them. And now he got a triple blaster or something. And that would be all the accessories that he got. So now I think it's time for us to move to some action and articulation. So we begin the articulation with the head. He can look up a little bit and down. He can do a f not a full rotation because that is blocked by that piece over here. The arms can move out like that, do a rotation. And it can bend a little bit back inside 
the case of the transformation. You got a bicep swivel, a 90 degrees elbow, and the hands are on that same old transformer hand design. So yeah, it, 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 that is it. You got a waist swivel, a really really nice waist swivel. This is the kick to the front, and you got the you can move up the skirt, the kick to the back, which is also nice. You got the split, really nice. You got a thigh swivel. This is a knee band, and this is it. And you got some movement on the feet and a really nice pivot. So articulation wise, I think this guy is decent enough for a deluxe class. I enjoy him as I would enjoy any Kingdom figures. Up to this point, I haven't got my hands on Rhinox yet, but yeah, he's really nice figures. And posing him around is really fun. Like I have this figure for like a week now, and I enjoy him a lot. And I think that when you guys have him, you could you guys would enjoy him as much as I do. So now time for some size comparison. So here we have him next to Sunstreaker and I'm gonna bring in my previous review, the Studio 86 Gnaw and I mean he's a decent size for Deluxe class and so now it's time, I think it's time for us to get to some transformation Finishing transforming tracks, I must say that his transforms sequence reminds me a lot of the masterpiece versions, and he actually is like I, I can say that they took a lot of aspect and elements from the masterpiece versions to simplify it and put it onto this kingdom versions. And I mean, like he's a really nice uh, car, I must say. So let's get to his details. So first up is this: the design of the car is really slick, and it reminds me of a porch of some sort. Which is really nice over here. You still got that iconic Autobot logos onto the red wing flame onto the front section. You got some details onto the front for the air vents and stuff. That's really nice. And that would be it for the front. Because this is like a stream blue car, so there's nothing too much we can say about it. Uh, then if you flip him, this is a really clean really clean low section of the cars you barely see any robot parts and they all look just makes they make so much sense you know and if you turn him to the back you can see that this is also clean and onto the wings if you look closely you can see that this is like details on sculpted onto this section over here and that could basically it so at this mode you can still store the weapon you can uh, plug them officially onto this here or you can plug them onto the sides of the leg if you want to and of course this still tr comes with a transformation sequence because this is tracks and he's a flying car so to accomplish that first you're gonna swing up the wing here and then basically just gonna take this whole section out and they're connected really, really they're connected really tight so like that and you swing this and rotate the arms like that and there we go and do the same thing and there we go and here we have a flying tracks i think that is still the same thing but that is cool that is really cool and so yeah this is flying tracks and i think it's time for us to get to some size comparison so here we have tracks next to sun streaker and they're basically the same scale of the car, but the only difference is that the design, uh, you know, like Porch is really 
slim, but then Lamborghini is like spreading out. So yeah, that means they still look good together though. So this sums up my review of the Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Class tracks. Tell me what you think about this figure. Would you purchase him? And also what do you think of him? And if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and share this video. And follow me on Instagram. That, that is where I do most of my updates. And if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. I will leave the link in the description below. Tantan out.